guys you welcome to my youtube channel my name is michael and today i'll be showing you how you can install tamox on your android device what is tamox tamox is just uh, a cli emulator that you can install on your on your android phone it gives you the ability to execute command to com execute commands on the cli just like you would on your uh, windows pc on the cmd okay so um the terminal is actually an emulator and it's packed with a lot of packages like you can install a lot of packages on it so in this video i'm going to show you how you can download it and install ssh install emax and install vim also on it so you can actually access any of these packages from your terminal using your mobile phone okay um normally you're supposed to get this thing from uh from the play store but the version on play store is not really stable you have a lot of issues so i'm going to be dropping a link below the description of this video so that link you just follow that link to download the the tabmox application i've already got it downloaded on my phone so i'm going to i'm going to just open it right away and install it it's actually on my uh actually on my opera so let me open to where it was downloaded okay so you can see it here i'm going to install it right away so uh in case you've not gotten this app already please follow this video till the end in case you've not downloaded it or you have not gotten about you need it follow it to the end So now the Tamox is open. Uh, when you open it, this is what you're going to see. Okay. When you open your, your Tamox, this is what you're going to see. So first of all, what I will do here is to first update it before I can start installing anything. So I will do PKG. Notice that uh, most of the packages to be installed, uh, the major command to install or to upgrade is PKG. So I'm going to say PKG updates okay so and i'll hit enter so we wait for it to update now it says do you want to continue just say yes by typing y and hitting enter So now it is asking, uh, it has a default action, but I want it to just install everything, including the open SSL. So I'm going to say yes for this, and then I'll hit enter. In fact, every option that comes out here, I'm just going to be hitting yes and enter, yes and enter. So this one again, I'll just say yes and enter. Then it says play store, yes, enter. Just type Y and enter okay thermos properties sh yes enter the default option okay start a shot examine the blah blah blah, blah. yes why enter okay so i think right now it is done so I can do an upgrade by typing PKG upgrade. So all this is just to be sure that the app I, that I just installed now has everything that is necessary for me to install other packages on it. So this is done right away. So I'm going to install SSH. Notice if I try to install, if I try to run SSH now, just type SSH and I hit enter. It tells me that the program SSH is not installed. That I should install it by executing pkg install drop here or pkg install open SSH. So that's the command. I'll type pkg install open SSH.
and it's going to start installing now it's asking me if i want to continue i'll say yes it's asking me it's going to take 19.5 mb of, of this uh, space so make sure you have enough space make sure you have enough space on your device because you can see it's asking for 19.5 so i'm going to hit uh yes and then i'll hit enter and it continues Now it's generating public RSA key pair and once this is done my SSH is installed so I can now log into my uh, terminal on my intranet terminal if I want to but before that I want to install Emax and I also want to install Veeam so I will try to run Emax first of all to see what happens here so when I run Emax and I hit enter it tells me that the program Emax is not installed so to install it, I have to type pkg install mx. So that's what I'll do now. So I'll say yeah, pkg install mx. Now hit enter. Whenever I ask you this question, always type y and say continue. So you can see that this MX is actually a very big program and that's why it's taking some time to install. It's really a very big program. It's taking, it's taking a while to install. So, but uh, we are going to wait for it to finish up. So once it is done, we are going to also check whether we can run Veeam or if you are going to install it already. Alright, so the installation is done. We have Max, we have a Max now running on our system, on our Tamox terminal. Okay, so let me try to run Veeam. You can start your Veeam by typing VI or by just typing Veeam, but I prefer the shortcut VI. And when I type VI and I hit enter, it says the program VI is not installed. Install it by executing PKG install Veeam. GT blah blah blah. So currently, what I'm going to do, I will just simply uh, type pkg install vim underscore uh, dash vim dash gtk. So that's the command to install vim on your Tamox terminal. So I'll hit enter. Okay, uh, I think he's finding it each, uh, difficult to locate the Veeam. It's not installing for now. I will find out why. Uh, there's another command again that is written here. Let's try the second command. Okay, there's a second command that is written that we can run, and that is this command here. Okay, this command. So I'm going to run that command right away and see what happens. So pkg install uh, the command is install uh, x11 dash x11 dash repo okay hope i'm correct yeah okay let's hit enter okay i think this one is working so it's it's working so next time if i type vi and i hit enter oh still says not installed let's see pkg install vim i'm trying it again for the second time vim dash gtk yeah i think it's working right away it's working now I think you needed that first package to be installed before the Vim can work. So now the, our Vim is downloading and it is installing. So that means at the end of the day, I should be able to run my Vim.
so guys um i'm going to pause this video and wait for the download to finish once it is finished it will continue but bear it in mind like i said earlier that uh this is just my mobile phone an android device and installing timeworks on your android phone is really, really uh worth it you know why because you can install tons of packages and you can run different kinds of terminal uh, programs from your mobile phone as though you're working on your on your pc okay uh, uh, on, if you're using juice ffh juice ffh comes with a lot of uh, packages also but uh Tamox is actually more customizable due to the flexibility of installing different packages on it okay but juice ffh is uh, just an ffh uh, uh, just an ffh uh, uh, client client application that you use to connect to your remote servers okay so just note the difference but for alx program you can actually make use of any of these two packages on your android phone remember if you are using your pc it's always recommended to use your pc because that pc gives you uh, more flexibility and it's easier for you to type it is, it's, if you are good working with system you will find it more comfortable working and coding on your pc than when you are coding on your mobile phone okay so but just as an alternative you don't have to be left out you just have to do this setup on your mobile phone and then follow along so while this is waiting uh, let me pause the video okay so i think uh, almost about two minutes gone now i think i don't know if it is from my network but actually there is progress and we are almost done okay uh, from my observation when it was unpacking some of the packages i noticed that uh, it's kind of installed some python packages also on the phone meaning that i might be able to also run python who knows okay um be that assist me we now have vim so uh if you have already watched my video where i taught you how you can connect to a remote server using ssh you can actually do that here so let me just simply type ssh to see if it will work okay fine once you type only ssh and you're able to see these commands here that means your ssh is good to go it's working i can connect now okay so you can see that i have the you can see that I have different, it's just showing me all the different commands that I can run with SSH. Okay, so let's try uh, Vim. If I type VI and hit enter, now you can see that this is my VI. So the Vim is working. I can actually do a lot of things here now with my Vim. So for now, I'm going to quit Vim. Uh, to quit Vim is Control Z and I'm out of it. So stopped. Okay, let me open Emac. Max and I hit enter. Now you can see that I have my Max. And the good thing about Max is that it comes with packs of tutorials that you can actually uh, follow along with. Okay. If you want to learn more about their tutorial, you can simply type Control H and T, Control H, and then followed by T. And you can see this is Max tutorial. And you can navigate through this tutorial, you can play around with this. If you can be able to read through this whole thing and play along, you, you should be able to know how to move your cursors, like as I'm moving it now, uh, move your cursor around the text, do page up and page down, okay? Moving to different screens up and down. Okay, This is how you can navigate within your text in your Max, okay? And uh, when you're done with all of this, you can actually... Uh, get out of this place. So I want to quit the Emacs currently. So I'm to quit Emacs. You're just going to press Control C and Control. Uh, sorry, you're going to press Control X and Control C. So <clears throat> let me cancel. Okay, start again. Control X and Control C. So it's asking me if I want to save the position, but now I'll say no. So it gave me a cost. The, that is the tutorial. I think I made some little changes there. It asked me if I want to save. So I didn't want to save it. So yes, this is how you can actually install um, packages, different packages on your Tamax, on your Tamax terminal, on your mobile phone. So 
if you have done what i just showed on this video now you are good to go to proceed with every other project working with Emacs, working with vi and so many other things uh let me simply also try let me try and see if python will work here let me say pi dash v pi dash v okay oh i can even run python actually uh the py shortcut didn't work so if i say python <laughs> python just to play around if i just say python and i hit enter you see python version 3 that's even the latest version of the python was installed i can now do one plus one and it will it will run for me one plus one equals two this is python running on my phone okay so you can see the power of tamox with tamox you can run virtually almost any program so by installing vim you're already going to have python installed already on your on your tamox to quit python this is how you quit it Control z uh, sorry Control z and you're out of python and this is tamox for you okay fine and good that's that's just all for this tutorial thanks a lot guys for watching and please do not forget to like this video and subscribe subscribe hit the notification bell icon because i'll be posting more of these videos from time to time as the program progresses you don't want to miss out on this so please subscribe it's actually free so happy coding happy learning thank you